Tearing and the Active Schools Alphabet. I'm Judy from Scottish Orienteering and your challenge for today is to create your own orienteering course in your house or garden for someone else to take part in. The first thing which we need if we're going to have a course is we need to have a map of the area. Now we draw our maps as if we're a bird flying over looking down. So shapes can start to look different from above. If you think of something like a tin shape, how it will be a circle from above. My cone will be a circle. Even things like my toilet roll, circles. So you've got to think about what shapes things are from above. You can then draw your own map. And here I've got a map that I've drawn of my garden. You'll see I've put a key on it so that people know what I've used the different colours to represent. So I've got the grassy area, the paving, the hedge, the plants, my climbing frame and the shed. Once I've drawn my map, I can then put a course onto it ready for people to do. And when we draw our course on, we have a triangle for the start and then each of the places we want people to visit, we put a circle at. And if we number them in the order they have to go, and draw the lines to connect them together. And then at the end, we have this donut shape. When the person gets to each of these places, I need to put a marker there so they know they've come to the right place. I've put out cones, but you could put out absolutely anything to be your markers. And you might even want to hide some treasure there for people to find. So once you've set up your course, you can give your map to someone and they can then go off and actually do the course for you. You can do this inside or outside, anywhere you want. Once you've created your map, send us some pictures and let us see.